Good morning, everybody. It is Avalon, our biggest slow roller assistant. Today we're going to pay, play Peacock Princess Dragon Link. That $14,000 grand, guys. Let's get our $100 Renos pulled out. Let's go. Put it in the machine here. Take my money. All right, one cent denim and 50 cent bet. We're gonna change that. Yeah. <laughs> if I get ballsy later, then maybe we'll change the bet around. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. All right. So I love all the Dragon Link games. I think they're pretty fun. They're pretty classic. So. You can't really go wrong. I, I just always know what to expect. So, usually pretty decent payouts, and I don't know. I like this game. So, last time I was telling you guys that I have some food, Las Vegas food recommendations. And uh, to start it off, I guess my favorite spot, because um, I'm kind of all over the place with like price ranges and types of food, um, but a few of my favorite places um, would be, this one's more high end, but it's called Din Tai Fung, I'm sure you guys have maybe heard of it, um, it's at the Aria, so that one's really good. Um, I. I'm addicted to Jin Tai Fung. Um, when I was in Cal when I lived in California, I worked at uh, a, like really near, like close, in walking distance to one. So I would uh, sometimes go on my breaks to go have Jin Tai Fung, uh, specifically their dumplings um, or like their soup dumplings. Those are what you should get. But also the veggie dumplings are great too. Um, what else? So, but I will say it's not super authentic. So if you're looking for authenticity, Ping Ping Pong at the Gold Coast. Ooh, all right, guys. Yeah, Ping Ping Pong at the Gold Coast would be more authentic um, Chinese food. So definitely give that place a shot. Um, and then... So for Japanese food, my personal favorite Japanese food, food is Musashi's on Paradise Road. It's a little hidden, but uh, if you know it, you know it. And I can't believe I'm telling people my favorite spot because I don't really want a lot of people to know about my favorite spot here. Um, I don't know if they still do it, but they used to do like after midnight or after a certain time. It was half off, top and yaki or something. I like her laugh. Um, what else? Oh, so some of my favorite lunch places. I love Viva Las Arepas for Venezuelan food. I love a good arepa. They are amazing. Um, I get the veggie one personally. Um, it has like bell peppers. Um, tomato, guac, cheese, I add the cheese, and then beans, black beans, so that's one of my favorites, little wins here guys, um, what else, oh, so for lunch, la papaya, um, they make really good, 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 great. I was trying to say good and great at the same time, and it just came out four. Um, <laughs> La Papaya. Um, it's also kind of a little hidden spot um, near the airport, and it is really great for lunch: smoothies, juices, sandwiches, crepes, and then um, it is like a, a Spanish place, so they have some like special like Mexican Mexican flair on some of their food which is really great and uh, let's see 
Oh, for breakfast, I would say head to Baby Stacks. They have classic breakfast. Everything is huge portions. Um, but they also have Hawaiian style breakfast. Ooh, guys. We need to land a bonus here. Um, and then I love for like a nice family style Italian dinner. Um, my go-to is Batita, Bat I can't even say it. Oh my goodness. What is, what is up with me? Batista's hole in the wall. Um, that's, that's my favorite. Batista's hole in the wall for Italian family style dinner. You get wine with your meal, red and white, uh, for the table. And, uh, it's, it's great. And then we have some really great Greek food here in Vegas. But I will tell you guys, I had a bad experience with some Greek food one time um, on a trip with my two friends to an abandoned water park. So I will tell you guys about that next time, um, our trip to the abandoned water park, because that was an uh, adventure in and of itself. Um, it's actually on the border of uh, Vegas and California. I think it's actually, it might actually be in California, but it's pretty close to its past state line. But a uh, pretty interesting place to check out. Uh, kind of don't recommend checking it out, but you guys will find that out after I tell the story next time. But that's a story for another time. Yeah, those are some of my favorites. Oh, but if you want to have good drinks and maybe a dessert of Dole Whip with or without rum, um, I recommend Golden Tiki. So even if you're not going to drink, you can go and get some Dole Whip and um, have a good time. Um, I could do an entire video on sushi places to go to because I love sushi and there's too many sushi places to talk about. Um, yeah, way too many sushi places and all you can eat sushi places, which makes it even better. Those are just some of my food recommendations. I hope when you guys are in Vegas or if you guys are locals that you check them out. But if you have some food recommendations for me, let me know. I'm actually looking for an Ethiopian restaurant that is good. So please send me recommendations for Ethiopian food if anybody has it. I know that's a long shot. There used to be one near uh, UNLV that I used to go to, but they've since closed down. So it's been years. All right, you guys, what do you think? I'm doing pretty good, but I think I want to get up with at least 50 bucks in my pocket today. So we'll play it down to 50 maybe? Unless we get a crazy bonus or something. But I haven't gotten a bonus all this time that we've been playing. So I'm a little, a little nervous about that. Oh, so close, guys. Just went away. Alright guys, last few spins here, it better turn it around for me, no, nothing, uh, okay come on guys, cross your fingers, do something, alright, alright last spin, Alright guys, have a good night!